Mistress will apply Burden of Pain to the current tank, which lasts a minute. The other tank should taunt off because a tank with the Burden debuff will deal damage to the rate if he takes physical damage. That ability is cast infrequently. She will also cast From the Abyss, which will spawn Abyss Stalkers. The tank with the Burden debuff should take these since the damage these Stalkers do is Shadow and not physical, so it won't hurt the rest of the raid. When these adds die, they leave green puddles on the ground. These adds can also be gripped, stunned, etc. On Heroic, these adds will cast Dark Depths, allowing them to teleport around. This teleport cast can be interrupted. She will also cast Hydra Shot on a few players. These players should stand a bit away from the boss so that others can stack in the line between them and the boss. It reduces the damage the Hydra Shot does to the main target and all players who got hit are affected by Hydra Acid. It's a dot that lasts 6 seconds, but if you get a second application of it, then you'll be stunned, so don't do that. The Burden of Pain tank should not stand in these lines. These three abilities happen throughout the fight. Phase 1, there will be tornadoes that spawn from one end of the room that move to the other side dodge these. On Heroic, these are much closely stacked together, but as soon as they come within contact of the Abyss Worm's green stuff on the ground, they dissipate. There will be jellyfish that swan up from the water that you should not stand in, or it will stun you. Mistress will apply Consuming Hunger to a few players, which is a 6 second lasting dot that will spawn a Murloc once it expires, that should be killed. On Heroic, Consuming Hunger is permanent, but it will drop off of you if you do stand in the jellyfish's field. This will still drop a Murloc that should be killed, and these players who get stunned should be dispelled. Phase 2 begins at 70% health. There are no tornadoes, jellyfish, or consuming hunger in this phase. Instead, she'll call a big fish abomination thing called Velius. There will be a graphic that takes up a third of the room that no one should stand in. Velius will jump out of the water and through that portion of the room, dealing massive damage to anyone there. A shark named Azunet will also be summoned during this phase. He will suction himself to one side of the room, pulling everyone towards him. He has a blue circle in front of his mouth and an even larger purple circle. If you stand in the smaller blue circle, it's insta death. There will be purple puddles that spawn around the room. A few ranged players should be designated to run through purple puddles to absorb them. You can only do one at a time, and once absorbed, they should step into Azunet's bigger purple circle to drop them off. He will suck them up, and then he'll leave the area. Phase 3 begins at 30% health. In this phase, you'll have to worry about Hydra Shot, Burden of Pain, the Abyss Stalkers, the Weird Abomination Fish, Velius, Tornadoes, Consuming Hunger, and the Purple Ink Puddles will still spawn around the room, but no one should absorb them because Azunet won't come back. 